Hello everybody and welcome back to this short video computer trainings. Uh, today we'll work um, towards finishing the bat file that we, we've been working on for uh, a couple of videos now. Uh, so what we're trying to do is to create a bat file, a script that we can run on all the computers in an organization or include into the startup for any PC that we image using OSD or uh, Whatever, system, whatever deployment system you have uh, implemented. So today we're going to have a look at stopping a service and uh, configuring it so it, it's disabled so it doesn't start the next time the computer reboots and also setting up the um, time zone on the PC. Right, so um, to configure a service you need to use the SC command, service control manager command and uh, to stop a service, of course, it's going to be stop. Let's choose a service. Uh, let's say that we don't use uh, roaming profiles, so we, we're not going to need uh, so services.msc. We're not going to need the offline files service, right? So, first we have to check the name, the actual name of the service, which is not necessarily the friendly name that you can see in the services msc. So have a look, oh, offline files, there you go. So this particular one is CSC service. Okay, so we're gonna remember that. SC stop, CSC service. Right. Stop pending. Uh, this command you're gonna actually put in the bad file, but for now we're gonna use another one. Uh, service control, we're gonna use a query to see if it stopped. Should be stopped already, there we go, stopped. And to configure it to be disabled and not come up the next time the computer restarts, we're going to use the same command sc, but it's going to be config and the name of the service, csc service, and the start parameter is going to be disabled. Actually, I made a mistake somewhere. Let's config csc service start. There you go. Now you're going to need the space between the equal and uh, the actual value or value of the parameter. So now, if we have a look at the service, so it's control query CC service. You're going to see that the service stopped and actually it doesn't show that it's disabled here. So let's have a look in the services MSC, offline files. There you go, it's disabled. So next time the computer starts, this particular um, service will not start automatically anymore. Okay? So what we can put in the bad file, and I'm going to put uh, in the comment section of this video as well, the commands are going to be so sc stop and uh, service name, right? which in our case is csc. Um, service and um, sc config um, service name and uh, start will be disabled so it doesn't it doesn't come up anymore or of course start can be you can change it to automatic if you have a service that you want to start in your particular organization automatic or it can be manual right these are the three values disabled automatic and manual right okay so now let's have a look at the um, time change time zone utility that's the command we're going to use tz util um, actually that's tz time zone there you go um, we can do a tz util slash g so we're on s eastern standard time so this is a query to actually to see what uh, time zone we're in right now and to change it, you do a tzutil slash s to change it, and the time zone is going to be between commas, in between uh, quotes, and let's say we change it to Atlantic Standard Time. Okay. Uh, you can also put the SD off if you want to so to disable daylight 
saving time you can you can put DST off and that's gonna be the zero right there you go if we do another TZ3G now you're gonna see that I'm on Atlantic Standard Time DST off so there you have it these are the commands that, that you can uh, put in the bat file I'm also gonna put them in the um, comment section of this video thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe if you like the videos and um, don't forget to check out our blog watermark at the bottom of the video thank you